This is the digital music trends coverage of Medium 2014, an interview with Bruno Crollo, director at Medium. DMT's coverage is brought to you by CI, the leading provider of digital delivery services to the independent community on ci-info.com. Hi Bruno and thanks for joining me today and uh, uh, it was a great edition of Medium so congratulations. Thank you very much, thank you. And so uh, let's look at some of the, the things that you talked about uh, just now and uh, so the, the edition went really well, you had uh, five new country stands, so which ones were those? Yes, we have new five new pavilions. We have Cuba, we have Chile, we have Cyprus, Armenia and for the countries and also we have the first ever French tech pavilion. So it's uh, powered and, and uh, subsidized by the, by the Ministry, uh, the ministry of uh, Innovation in France uh, and we had 10 startups, uh, first timers to meet them on this, yeah. on this pavilion so it was great. Yeah. Absolutely. And the rest of our pavilions from last year all came back so we are very happy with that. Yeah sure. And looking at the, at the numbers, some of the countries had a, a massive presence so Japan was up 40%, uh, Australia 50%. Uh, overall there was a slight decline because uh, you talked about the fact that Germany, for example, cut the, the subsidies, so that made it more difficult for companies to come out. Uh, but the, the conversation was very focused, so you know, I think people seem to be really happy with the outcome of, uh, of uh, Medium 2014 for them. And uh, the technology angle is really strong. And so how did you feel the Medium Lab edition one this year? This one was, again, a great edition. And uh, with three uh, fantastic winners and, and 30 great finalists as well. So, yeah. so it was very vibrant, very, again, very, uh, very uh, tense. Uh, because they were so close uh, to each other and for this edition we had again a big ra rise in uh, sub submissions so now really Midem Lab is, uh, is really on, on the map for the tech guys and not only the music tech guys which, is, which was our, our objective two or three years ago when we expanded um, because Midem Lab is seven years old but it was originally very much mo music tech focused which is normal at Midem and now we opened it as you know with three categories to social media to uh, monetization and TechCrunch again this year uh, put us at the w among the 50 must attend tech even not only music tech and Mike Butcher was on the on the jury so yeah great for us fantastic and the hack day as well was in its fourth edition this year and it seems to go from strength to strength uh, with some really fantastic hacks they're really polished and and I, I think a great way to make the the industry people that are not that uh, accustomed to seeing this kind of thing uh, understand what can be done yeah this is this is a great moment it is it's really uh, happening and uh, I love this uh, notion of creation on the spot, on site, and uh, even if it's technology, it's still creation, obviously. So this is, this is a great event, and uh, I think we will think for next year how to enhance it again, make it bigger, I don't know. But this year we had Spotify and Deezer sponsoring the event, which is great, two, two uh, competitors on the, same, uh, on the same hack day. Yeah, mm. absolutely. And uh, you know, talking about uh, the, the next edition of Medem, you know, it, is there a particular space that you think is just growing now, and you think it's going to get even bigger next year? Definitely, we are a um, uh, core business-based event industry, core music industry. But we are we see the, the tech side part of the event growing quickly. Uh, we have around 20% of tech uh, among the participants. Five years ago, it was maybe zero or two. So this is definitely the the angle where we go, and this is very relevant and complementary with uh, the music industry, obviously, because uh, they need technology and vice versa. So it's really, I think, completely relevant with what the business is overall. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Uh, there was a big presence of lawyers as well this year. Lawyers are becoming really important and managers. Yeah. So those are two categories that I think are really becoming so central in the, in the recorded music industry. So uh, do you see that presence growing as well? Yes, absolutely. We've been uh, working with lawyer and for, with uh, EIL uh, yeah. for, for years, but uh, we had more, more of these uh, people this year indeed. You know, licensing is one of the key, key element, uh, intellectual property, key issues, sorry, not element, key issues of, of the the business today so lawyers are definitely the people uh, that we need to to make it uh, fluid yeah. Uh, so yes yes uh, they are definitely uh, part of it that's great well uh, you can find uh, a lot more about medium on youtube and digital music trends has done uh, an extensive coverage of the event through uh, a number of interviews as well uh, and there's uh, most of the panels uh, that were uh, the key panels are actually live on the uh, youtube.com slash medium uh, channel you had a fantastic presence on social media and you said like three times more three times mentions more than last year yeah sorry yeah three times more than last year uh, which is huge for us and and great job from the team and and great job for all the people following us and and yeah. pushing the message yeah yeah absolutely and uh, uh, there's been some great live blogging as well, and uh, that's another resource that people can go and tap into to uh, catch what uh, happened at Medium uh, during this edition. And uh, go see the, the videos. We had in 
incredible panels and keynotes and discussions here. Everything is on the on the YouTube channel, so go there, go there. That's great, awesome. Well, thanks so much, Bruno. Thank you, thank you. And um, thanks for watching the DMT coverage of Medium 2014. You can find everything on digitalmusictrends.com or youtube.com slash digitalmusictrends.